The extended delays and overcrowding that marred airport activity stranded scores of frustrated passengers in the airport during the Halloween weekend have led to a reassignment of terminals for certain international and domestic airlines beginning December 1. Our Karen Villanda tells us more. Emmanuel has just disembarked from the plane from his vacation in the United States. He's just one of the passengers that are now having a revenge travel after the restrictions due to pandemic. Based on the records of the Manila International Airport Authority, passengers are now reaching 100,000 daily at Maia. And it is expected to increase to 110,000 in Christmas rush from December 16 to first week of January next year. That's why to avoid what happened during the Undas exodus in a year where passengers jump packed to different terminals, some flights will be transferred to loose terminals. Starting December 1, Philippine Airlines flights to the United States, Canada and Middle East from Terminal 2 will be moved to Terminal 1. This will reduce Terminal 2 by 6,700 passengers. In addition to this, other Air Asia domestic flights will also be moved from Terminal 4 to Terminal 3 before Christmas. Part of our preparation for, the, for Christmas is really to, as I mentioned earlier, the transfer of some of the flights no, to the less uh, uh, or not optimized uh, terminals, no, like Terminal 1. Because Terminal 1 ngayon, nasa 30% pa lang yung utilization niya. Eh. Mm -hmm. Kasi nga yung kasi um, sa international natin nasa 56% pa lang siya versus pre-pandemic. I think the ondas uh, has taught us a lot of lessons, no? And it's really a a, a collaboration with the airlines. GM Chong said they are also working for the automated processing time of passengers in AIA to resolve overcapacity in AIA. He said the capacity of the AIA is only 32 million, but in 2019, the passengers hit 48 million. That's why MIA plans to speed up passenger processing time by having self-check-in and bag trap at the airport one year from now. Yan yung projects namin, how to automate yung passenger processing how to digitize because the only way for you to increase the handling capacity of the terminals is really with the use of automation. The Bureau of Quarantine is also prepared for the flow of overseas Filipino workers who will be going home this Christmas, but they reminded passengers that even though filling out the e-arrival card when boarding the plane is no longer mandatory, still they are being encouraged to do it three days before traveling. Kung darating po kayo rito ng walang e-arrival card, may mga limitation po tayo tulad ng uh, internet, baka magkasabay-sabay sila mag-register, mahirapan sila, or even the space po na pinuruvide natin para i-assist sila, medyo maliit po. Karen Villanda for The Nation.